there early. A man is nothing short of astonishing. Cindy, what on earth are you doing here? I want you to meet my friend. I've heard great things about you, Mr. Cavendish. I'm working. <laughs> Sorry. He's a brilliant PR, but very rude. I want you to have a look at Stephen's presentation. Now, why would I want to do that? Hmm? Because I'm asking you nicely. Experience, which pampers and relaxes, while at the same time refreshes and energizes. Each of our spas offers a unique experience, but the one thing they have in common is indulgence. Winterbourne's Hotel and Spa. What do you think? Oh, very nice. Reminds me of those ads you have in provincial cinemas. The Taj Mahal Indian restaurant are just moments from this cinema. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Cavendish, <laughs> can't you just fizz it up a bit? No, 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 I don't do fizz. Come on, Mr. Cavendish, I'll make it worth your while. Say hello, sir. I hope it is. So how many of the other girls are turning tricks? Only the Russian ones and Lithuanians. Oh, and Ukrainian girl. So what would the management do if they found out? <laughs> but they're the ones who organized it. You sure about that? Mafia guy in Moscow told me that there is a job opportunity in England, and I jumped at it. The Mafia? So the management of the hotel are making a lot of money out of you girls? We have to service at least three clients a week. Service? <laughs> <laughs> Nervous. A bit. Don't be. It's all under control. And I hear it's a big year for you. You're in Charlotte. The pitter-patter of tiny feet. Who told you that? Just heard it on the grapevine. Well, it's highly unlikely. I've never been able to have children. Excuse me. Execution. No doubts. He's a bastard. This is how you deal with bastards. All set? Yeah. Once this thing starts doing its job, we're out of here. Look, uh, there's something I want to say. You told Catherine the girlfriend was pregnant. Yeah, well, what's desperate, Mickey? Yeah, I know. Come on, let's go. Excuse me. Hello. Hi. Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, tonight is the proudest night of my life, to be surrounded by friends, honoured guests, and the woman I love. It's taken a lot of people a lot of work to get where we are tonight, and I want to thank them all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much, everybody. But tonight is just the start, the first step on a magnificent journey. And now, a short presentation. Enjoy. Winterbourne's hotel and spas a retreat away from the daily life. Something doesn't smell right. What is it? Stephen said that he can't have children. Well, no, no, he told her to have an abortion. Yeah, I know. Somebody's lying. Attention and exercise. I'm telling you. I just sat on the children. Why do you want to? 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 Why do you want to?
It's not the nice lady, it's the nasty lady. Okay, mate, thank you. She went back to find the earring. I was here earlier. Well, at least, I think I was. I dropped an earring. There's nobody here. Where is everyone? Well, they were only here for a day. Nice people, though. She's known who we are all along. This is how you deal with bastards. Our beauty therapy are specially trained. From all corners of the former Soviet Union, they come to work, to work as prostitutes. Mafia guy in Moscow told me that there is a job opportunity in England and I jumped to the and frightened. They cannot speak out without fear of violence and punishment. Winterbourne, where exploitation and service come together. Ah, stop it. Okay. It's too late, I can't. We're destroying an innocent man. Day of Will you stop the presentation? I didn't know anything about that. No, 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 no. So, Kim Sin! I'll try and explain this as well as I can. What's the suit? None of this is true. I know nothing about this. Excuse me. Why would you do this to me? Why? Lovely night for an execution. I owe you all an apology. I let my guard down, and I got caught. And the con man got conned? Never, never let a mark get under your skin. I know, I know, and I'm sorry. I promise you all it'll never happen again. Well, anyway, what about the 250 grand? Well, that's in our account, every penny. Have you told June? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, Mickey, I just no, want to... Ash. She's family. <sighs> OK. So I spoke to my friendly DI in Vice, told her Stephen Winterbourne knew nothing about the prostitution racket. So, at least he won't be charged. Thanks, Daisy. Yeah, but they'll charge uh, Mickey's woman for running a brothel out of the spa. Yeah, yeah, if they can find her. She's emptied her accounts and left the country. Mm. What a woman. Yeah, she really had you fooled, didn't she? OK, OK, I made an error of judgment. Yes, you did. Say what you will, it is better to be left than never to have loved. William Congrave, playwright. Oh, <laughs> no. Um, what is this, Eddie? The Congrave. It's made with a lot of bitters. It's got a bit of bitters. <laughs> Bitter women. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I'd, uh, I'd like to propose a toast. <laughs> to living and learning. To falling in love with Marx. Well, at least you didn't have to pay, Danny. What's the toast, Ash? To... Uh, to family. To family. Family. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting.